Now with the inside story of the man behind two of the biggest boy bands ever. Lou Pearlman created the Backstreet Boys and NSYNC, and he cashed in big on their fame at their expense. Chris Connolly is in Los Angeles for the part of the story you didn't know. Good morning, Chris. Good morning, George, and it's quite a story. It was back in the 90s when the Backstreet Boys and NSYNC were put together by Lou Pearlman. There was sweet harmony on stage, but discord behind the scenes, as the guys topped the pop charts, but weren't getting paid. Turned out there was a lot going on that nobody knew about other people's money and the manager they called Big Papa. He was the man behind some of the biggest boy bands ever, including two of the biggest juggernauts of all time, Backstreet Boys and in sync. The strangest part of the whole boy band world is that the two huge boy bands were created by this great big dude from Queens who made his money from blimps. In the early 90s, Lou Pearlman was running a blimp business when he decided to wade into the boy band business after seeing the hottest act at the time, New Kids on the Block. I was invited to come down to one of the shows. All the screaming, I was like, my God, what's going on here? And these girls are buying these t-shirts and hats and chains and posters. I was like, man, this is exciting. Mm -hmm. I mean, not to mention, okay, there's a tinkle to the cash register, no question about it. Unbelievable. With a keen eye for casting, Perlman launched Backstreet Boys and later in sync, both groups skyrocketing into the pop music stratosphere. The money started rolling in for Perlman, but for the bands, something didn't add up. I was in the biggest band in the world and selling millions of records and someone's making millions and millions, but I can't even afford my apartment in Orlando. I couldn't even get a car. Backstreet's out there bringing in millions and millions of dollars and then they find out that Lou has taken 10 million for himself and left 300,000 for them to split amongst themselves. They said they began to feel like indentured servants. They all wound up in highly publicized legal battles. When we wanted to renegotiate, it was just a hard no. That's when Lou changed from Jolly Lou to Here's Business Lou. Lou sued us for our name. He was the sixth member of the group and he owned the name NSYNC. So he took our name so we could never use it. And that's why we ended up in court. And it wasn't just music where he was raking in the cash. At the same time, Perlman was luring investors into what he claimed was an empire under a brand he called Transcontinental. Transcontinental companies is a conglomerate. And what we have, for example, is Transcontinental Airlines, Transcontinental Foods, Transcontinental Entertainment. But U.S. Attorney Roger Hanberg says it was all part of a big fraud. Transcon was a con all the way through. Transcon Airlines had no airplanes, had no employees, had no revenues, had no contracts with airlines. In the documentary, The Boy Band Con, The Lou Pearlman Story, produced by Lance Bass of NSYNC, Pearlman's childhood friend shows how Pearlman was able to perpetrate a con by using a Model 747, a real airport, and some deceptive photography. We never, ever flew on a transcontinental airplane. We would fly to different places over in Europe, and we'd always be on these Delta flights, you know, in coach. And I always thought it was weird that someone that was in the airline industry couldn't help us out a little bit getting to places. Authorities believed Lou Perlman had engineered a massive Ponzi scheme and went after him. About eight days after I opened up our investigation, Lou Perlman fled the country. And you'll hear a whole lot more tonight. Good times with two beloved groups of the late 90s and the fraud and deceptions of Lou Perlman that shocked band members and shattered lives. Guys? Wow, fraud, deception, wow. a lot of greed right there as well. And you can see more tonight during the, uh, the two-hour 2020 event, The Hitman from Pop to Prison. That starts at 9 Eastern right here on ABC. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.